Paul here with a guide for Resident Evil 3 Inferno. This guide requires the unlock reward DLC. You could grind out the uh, points to get the infinite rocket launcher, but if you want the, the achievements to pop the way mine did, then this is the way to go. So first we start our Inferno run. So our first job is to head to the bathroom. As soon as we do, we need to interact with the uh, water. Upon waking up, we need to go back to the bathroom. That's just by spinning around. And then interact with the light switch. When we leave the bathroom, just lightly open it and head to your right and then left, so that way it, the door isn't open fully and blocking you from going left. You can get through quicker then. Answer the phone. What the hell is that? And then we have to run from the nemesis. Once you're in this building, we have to climb out a window and go down some stairs and through another window. Once we get past that doorway, there will be another cutscene. We just have to make it to this doorway here, and another cutscene that is unskippable will happen. We can then go down here, okay. and we will get grabbed again. This part we have to... I like to hug the ride a little bit. We have to make sure we don't get hit. You can die here. But once you make it to the door, we can then make it to the street. The tutorial is probably the hardest part of the Inferno run. Jill? Over here. Brad. This is also a speed run and a... Basically, this will get you every achievement so run-wise, but minimalist. One fucked up thing always leads to another. Which requires you not to use the box, and that is better done in a separate assisted difficulty run. So you wanna, once this cutscene is over, you wanna hug the left and run. Otherwise you'll get grabbed. It's very important you do that. And so for this part, we can leave the guy, we don't have to shoot him. This is probably the hardest part of the entire run. If this guy grabs you, he's an instant kill. So what I like to do is let him come out a little bit. It takes a little bit of time, but it is worth it because then you can dodge him when he goes for you. And he won't go for a second grab if he's still in that vicinity. So this is a unskippable cutscene, basically, where we're forced to walk. Hey, come on, there's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What safety? I'm not going out there. The parking garage isn't far. I can the only safe place is in here. So we want to collect the ammo, since we don't have the unlimited gun yet, and then dodging gets you here quicker. Once we get to the end part, there will be a cutscene we can skip. Then we just have to go into the elevator. Upon activating the elevator door, there will be another cutscene we need to skip. This will bring out two zombies. I like to draw out the first one a little bit, so that way I can dodge him. And then all I need to do is hit the button, and it activates the next section. Once we cross this, there will be another cutscene we will skip and we will end up in a car. We need to hit A. I just kept hitting A. Come on. Start, damn it. And one more A prompt and then it's an RT prompt. It's my turn, bitch. 
Keep holding down RT. And then we are done for that section. For this section you just need to move backwards until the cutscene activates. You would have seen me get the tutorial achievement, but I unfortunately had a glitch, which I will be putting a video for, where it pushed me out of the bounds during my first um, Inferno att run attempt. We can get past this guy at this section here, if we dodge. But it's kind of pointless, but it just makes me feel better. Because he has to open the door that we're coming upon, and we have to wait for his talking. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you talking about? Look, you don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? If we make our way quickly down these stairs, we can actually stand in the way of Carlos, and he will push us a little bit faster. We can get into the train before he does. Okay, first things first. And now we can leave. We need to get you geared up. Head up the street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. You can skip the telecom calls as well. You don't have to talk on the walkie-talkie. Here you want to pick up the backpack pouch. And the other hip pouches as well. Now we can put away the gun I accidentally picked up and our original gun. And we can take out the coins and the RPG as well as the lock pick and the bolt cutters. This will save us some time. Now we can head outside where we will counter our first zombie and we can just blow them to hell. Over here there will be four zombies gathered in a corner and one that pops out through that gate. There'll be three on your left, and they will show up after we do this next section. When we turn around here, we'll get a cutscene where they drop the fence, and that's when we have to deal with them. Move back, because the crate will explode. And then head forward. There will be a bunch down here, so if you aim just right, you can take them out. As you can see, you can't go through that door. I was waiting for it to open. When I realized it wouldn't open, I headed right instead. When you go through this door here, on your right will be a zombie, so make sure you shoot that area. And down here there will be a couple of zombies. Once we go through this door, we will have to turn right here and pick up a hose. Once we pick up the hose, some zombies will appear. We just have to go back the way we came. 
The only difference is when we get to this section here, rather than going right, we will be going straight. There are two zombies here, and if we shoot that crate, that'll kill both of them. Kick down this ladder, and then slide down it. Now we have to attach the hose to the fire hydrant. When we cross this section, there will be another cutscene. We need to head left, and then around this corner, and then we will get attacked by some dogs, but if you aim just here before you cross that threshold, that'll kill the zombies and the dogs. Minus one zombie, which I just finished off. And as you can see here, there's the dead dogs' bodies. We killed them before they even came around the corner. So soon we have to go through this section, there will be two zombies, so shoot the floor here, and then shoot up in the rafters here. We will be getting minimalist as well, which means that, I mean, not minimalist, but we will be getting the achievement for only healing once, and there is an, this is the one section I recommend saving, because we have to heal once, and if you take too long, right here, dodge to get down faster, and we don't want to take too long. We only have five saves, so right here we have to use the pick lock, and this will get us infected. Once we're infected, we want to go open our inventory and heal. This will get rid of the infection, but is the only time we can heal in the entire playthrough. So, it is a your call situation, but I really recommend it because we're trying to speedrun the game as well. Make sure you listen out for any of them and just fire behind you before you're about to use a power station. So that way they don't grab you. Climb this set of ladders. And then jump down. Or climb down really. Then keep an eye on that hole to your right. Just in case they pour out of there. Remember to dodge if you hear them flashing at you. Because they will climb up on the walls and slash at you. One comes out on your right when you activate that switch. Two jump down out of that mass. And then on your right here, one will spawn. And then on your left, sometimes there is some that spawn there as well. Once we get this switch, this is the last switch and we just have to get out of here. There'll be one that spawns on your left, and then there'll be two on your right. Be very careful of those two on your right that I just dodged. Right here you want to dodge, because he gets very close. And that's how you can get through this section without being hit, and without wasting time. Okay. All that leaves is the main power switch. We're only allowed to um, save five times, so I've picked what I think are the best points at saving. Carla. We can now skip the talking cutscene so we can continue. Because we are planning to get the S rank as well. 
I beat this game in six hours uh, with the minimalist running included. So if you would like an assisted difficulty minimalist collectible video, um, just let me know and I will make one. But I thought I would focus on Inferno. And as you can see with the story achievements popping, this is my actual first run. I wanted to include every achievement you will get if you do this as your first run as well. So we are being chased by Nemesis and if you hit him at the start you should have just enough time to make it to the stairs if you dodge thus allowing you to climb the ladder. He will of course run up and that's where we want to try to hit him to stun him again. Be careful of his attacks, you may need to dodge them. When we go through this door here, it is very important to fire a rocket immediately. The zombie that was on the ground originally was now up, and he will grab you very quickly if you do not shoot him. Then you want to fire a rocket just to the left, near the cars, to kill the two zombies that are here. I fire a second one just in case, because we still have be Nemesis chasing us. Carlos, I'm in the control room. Now what? Nice. Now you gotta plot out a route. Okay, give me a sec. So this right, is probably the hardest puzzle in the game. I always have trouble remembering it. So the ones you want to set up are FA02, RA03, SA02. So again, that's FA02, RA03, SA02. I took a little while to enter it because I was trying to memorize it. Carlos, it's me. I finished inputting the subway room. Chill, you are amazing. Tough as nails, too. Hurry back to the station. We'll make sure the subway's ready to depart. So now we can head back to the next part and there will be a zombie that gets up that we can kill and one that, well two that are down below here. By aiming up at that wall and aiming at the ground there we took out two of them. There is a third one that spawns but he just nicks you so it's fine. We didn't have to head through this door. And then to our right here. This is where we will encounter the nemesis again. And we can just shoot him. When he doesn't dodge it. And this will give us some time to get away. There'll be zombies that drop. One that comes around the corner here, he's the important one to kill. And these two here. The ones that drop, we can run past. We can now save it at this point if you like. I only save it at this point because the next part we don't have the infinite gun so it can be a little bit tricky. Come on, you creepy -ass but we want to shoot the nemesis again. 
and then make our way through the linear path that we can't go any other way. Here you'll come to a crossroads, just go straight and then left to the vent, and then keep mashing A on the vent. As you see, more than enough time to make it. So now we are in the sewers. We need to slide down here. And then make our way to the right. When we head right, there will be a fish toad kind of thing that uh, will spawn. As well as two zombies on the ground. The fish toad thing will be on the right here. And then another will jump through this vent. We then climb this ladder, go through this door, collect the battery pack in front of us, and then we can head out. On the way back, another monster will fall through the sewer. And then when we go left here, another monster will come from above, or the bottom area, to above. We just need to climb the stairs on our left here, and then make our way up the staircase. Then we need to place the battery into the slot here. On the door unlocking we need to come through here when we uh, get to this open area another one will appear so then we go left here and unlock this so that we can collect the battery you can skip this next part if you want but I like to go over here and place the battery in here to get another slot Right here is what we want. And then we can leave. And once this door closes, if you don't knock it like I just did, we can take the battery again. Now we have to head down this way, knock down this slider. Open this door with the battery. And now we can continue on. Yeah, that save I did the second one was way too early. I do apologize for that. <laughs> I must have thought I was at the Carlo section, but I wasn't. So Nemesis will grab us. And we have to get through this section. Those two zombies, you can pretty much just walk past, but I like to be safe than sorry, so I shoot them. For this part, we got to go up the stairs. Can use weapons? Shoot the zombie in front of the stairwell, and the ones to the right here. Just so that we don't have anyone that might grab us. One grab can be fatal in this game. Especially on this difficulty. So we want to go up to the stairs and the left here and we want to pull down these planks. We want then want to climb this ladder. Going up these stairs will create another cutscene. 
and we just want to follow this linear path. Climbing up these ladders as we go. When we jump this section, it's a cutscene, so we can skip it. Saving us that little bit of time. We want to climb up this ladder and this ladder here. We can then jump down. And we have our first boss fight. So you just want to keep firing rockets at him. Eventually he will drop down. Once he kneels like that, he is done. And we can move on. We can then skip this. Oh wait, we can't skip that. That's an unskippable cutscene. But we can then take out these guys quickly while we're walking down this. There is one more just near that tank that's hard to see. And one more in the distance near there. Taking them out just makes it less likely we're going to get grabbed. And it's not necessary. I just prefer not to have any instances where we may get grabbed so that's why I do that right here we can shoot this guy that'll save him getting up later and then here we have another cutscene which we can skip thankfully and this will get us the key when we grab it and now we can leave can use the key on this door and that is the only instance we need this key for so you can remove it from your inventory if you want. In the sake of speed I'm not removing it yet. That zombie there will get up so we can fire a rocket to quickly kill him. Once we head through this door we fire a rocket at the door. This also got us a Charlie. <laughs> Go figure. Just watch his view so you can dodge the rockets. Shoot the zombie. Try to avoid his attacks. And fire at him. Fire another rocket here. This will kill a zombie that stops them from coming around the corner. Also shoot the fence ones here. Then we can quickly shoot him. That stops him from aiming at us for this section so that we can just go to the end part. Once we get here, we need to climb the ladder in front of us. And we can jump down. Skip the walkie talkie conversation. And we, as you can see, have no other path than left. Once we had left again, there will be a cutscene. And we will need to turn around and run away. This is if you head to the right here, you can sit just on the very edge. And wait for it to pass and go up the stairs before it fully passes. Nemesis does appear after it crashes, so you will hear him. If you have the chance to shoot him, I would suggest doing so. Once we get to this part, a cutscene will play. 
And now we just have to head down to the subway. This is an E section that we can't get past Carlos, unfortunately. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start, but thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can And if it wasn't bad enough, he held up yeah. that door. We have to wait Maybe for so. this as well to open. What about you? From the sound of it, I won't be catching the train. Why not? No, there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. So we can skip that cutscene, skip this cutscene. Then that will get us another achievement. We can skip this cutscene as well. All right, keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. So now we're playing sure? as Carlos, and we have Looks no like unlimited ammo yet. Come get some. By backing away into the doorway, he actually walked away, allowing you to get the kill and getting an unfortunate end by defeating Zombie Brad. Where'd that cop go? Pick up care. the um, hip pockets for Carlos. He has Our a different inventory, as you can see, so we can store everything and get out the unlimited rocket launcher and the coins. I have cut, kept the cutscenes in so that cut way, uh, well not the cutscenes, the loading screens I in so that way you know this run is 100% solid. Take a look at this. I've located the star's office. Remember, Bard has So here we can't skip unfortunately, I don't understand why it would have been the drums. perfect so skip. this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey! Be careful. So here's where I would recommend the second save, personally. But it is now my third save. I'm only allowed five saves because that is the requirement for S rank. What the hell was that thing? So here you'll see a zombie, so just fire, and there you go, he is now dealt with. Here two zombies will pop out, one of them is a liquor. Right. Big warm RPD welcome. Here we have another walkie talkie that we can skip. Here you want to fire at the ground. Fire to the left here. This door will open and you fire into the door. There's sometimes a zombie there, so that's why I fired. So this code is 9... 11... 7... And it has a hip patch in it, that's why we did it. There'll be a zombie around the corner. Kind of fucked up shooting cops. 
There is one up here. And my first shot didn't kill him. There's also one around this corner. We want the key that's here and then we can head back down. Making sure this one stays dead. There'll be a liquor that comes through the doorway so if you fire here you can kill him early. And you can get his body as well, if you're quick around the corner. Using the key here, we can get through the door. And to our left is another zombie. 104 is the code we need. And then zombie Brad has shown up again. If you shoot through the open grate, that will kill him again. I don't know how zombie Brad came back to life twice. Oh, undead twice, but he did. He's apparently a very powerful zombie. So we can go through here on the second floor and interact with the bomb, placing the battery inside the bomb and then placing the bomb onto the C4. This will get us craft an item. And then we can fire a couple of rockets into this area to kill the zombies. There will be a liquor we need to kill. And then two more of those pale zombies. We can then interact with the door. Then we can turn around and re-interact with the door. Look around, see if you can find We'll wake up in the train station. We have another cutscene to skip. You want to shoot the floor here. This will kill all the zombies. And also kill another Charlie Dong. <laughs> Fire there to kill two more zombies. And then there's one that drops here. That we can quickly kill. When we get to this section we just have to race to the bridge. Once we get to the bridge, we just have to climb these stairs, skip a cutscene, and then race across the bridge. Luckily there is no bottom prompts. We're just running. Right here a cutscene will activate, and then we will have this fight. Once we've fired enough rockets into him, another cutscene we can skip. And once this conversation stops, we can activate the next cutscene. Skipping that. And now we're in the hospital. Okay. I promise. You can save now or later, but this is my fourth save, so now I can't save it until I get to the last boss, which is the recommended save point for the fifth save. Right here will be our liquor. 
And right here will be a bunch of zombies. It's good to just take them all out. So we had to have to head to our left here through this door in front of us. And then to our left again. There is an object we could pick up, but I'd rather pick it up when we come back. There's some zombies here we need to kill. And then we head off again to our right and up these stairs. There's another zombie that will drop down from these stairs. And then to our left again, where we can fire at the ground to kill yet another zombie that is pretending. Which also kills yet another Charlie doll, ironically. So if we head this way, wrong way, to the left here. And to the right. We can jump over this. And then jump over this part here to get the key that is on the ground. I always forget that I gotta jump over that, so that's why I went the wrong way at first. At least I didn't go into the room though, I corrected myself before. So this is where the zombie would have gotten up if we hadn't have killed him. So right here you'll see one of those big giant beast kind of zombies. Right there is the map if you need it, because this area can get a little confusing. We need to put the key that we just got into this door. And then you want to open the locker on the left side, all the very way on the left here, and grab the ID. Then we can leave. And these guys will have gotten up, so just fire a rocket to take them out and once we get around this corner we will have to fight one of those big giant um, zombies again that we already just took out one so that is the second one we had to take out Jesus Christ. when we go through this door in front of us there will be a liquor behind the counter so aim carefully behind the counter to take him out and then shoot the floor to kill any zombies that are pretending to be dead. When we get around this corner, this door will open. Along with the left door. And we also just killed another Charlie doll. <laughs> shoot the pale head. And then when we go through this door. There are usually are some zombies sometimes this time there wasn't so we want to take out these guys if you see them jump on a bed fire again the jumping animation makes them immune for some reason grab the cassette tape and now we can head back go through and unlock this door Head to our left and jump over this. We can then head to our left here. This is where we got the key. It saves us a lot of time just jumping down. And head to the right here where the zombies will break through the glass. One shot of the rocket kills them all though. Then we can head through back to the area we were at. Open the cassette tape and place the tape that we just got in inside it while we're here discard some of the keys you have and now we can play the cassette tape keep walking into the door because as soon as he says his name yeah, we can open it and not have to listen to the tape as you saw right there we will spin the chair around and Bud is there. We can skip the walkie talkie. And then interact with the computer. Push B to close it. And then we can skip the next cutscene. Here we can grab the cure. And we can quickly leave. 
skipping this cutscene. Going through this door. When we go through this door, another one of those zombie types will appear. If you let him chase you, you risk him hitting you, so it's better just to kill him and get him out of the way. I have tested both methods. <laughs> so once we get through here, we gotta turn left and give, G give Jill the needle. Skipping the cutscenes, of course. Once we're at this section, it's just a defense section. The best thing to do is to quickly grab the explosive, because we will need that later. And then the best place I found to sit is right here, because I can aim and see through all the windows. The window to the right, a little bit behind the pillar, is a little bit hard to see right here, but we can still tell when a zombie comes through. And you just want to keep firing your rocket whenever you see a zombie. Some you may be able to kill before they even get through. Once we've killed enough, the lights will go off. So that means that a zombie will come through this door here. One rocket will kill him. And just make sure you kill any stragglers before you enter the room. A zombie will drop down here. And we need to hit this switch. There is a thing we can grab here, that a hip pouch that will expand our inventory. And then we can quickly come back out and kill any of these zombies that decided to come in while we were occupied. Once the event gets to a certain point, the window in front of us will have a bad guy jump out. That just like the door one. So try to keep an eye on that window. At this point, he should jump through when it's halfway. Okay. 
Once this part happens, fire a rocket at the ground to kill the zombies in front of us and then place the C4 that we picked up earlier. The bomb onto the C4. And now we just have to wait for the timer to end. Standing in here again is a safe spot. And any of the zombies that climb over, you can just fire a rocket to take it out. And with that section now over, we can skip the cutscenes. And now we wake up as Claire. We want to use the pick lock on this door here. We can delete this key now. When we go through this door, there'll be a white head. Pale head, sorry, we just need to kill them. We just need to race over here and interact with this. Then we can just wait for it to reach the bottom. We then need to hit this switch here. This will lower this platform. If we stand here, once the thing moves away, we can immediately run onto it. And then hit this switch. Raising the platform. Placing ourselves here, we can again do the same thing. Once it opens, get through. Grab the hip pouch again. And then we can go here. It'll drag us to him but we want to ignore that and shoot the pale head right there before we jump down. This will kill him early so we don't have to deal with him later. We cannot kill the three zombies here that are playing dead yet. And we have to interact with this which blows the fuses. I must admit, I respect your tenacity. But I'm afraid our game's in We need to hit this switch here. If you fire a shot through this before we hit the switch, you can kill the zombie that is in there. You can sometimes get it through the stairs before the stairs fall, but I unfortunately was not quick enough. I tried to hit the zombie that was over there, but I doubt that is actually possible. So now we want to take the fuse and climb down the ladder. If we hit, hang to our, once we pass the initial cutscene here, if we hang to our right, we can actually skip that one there and fire here to get the zombie and then run through all oh, that's happening. We have to slide through the side here. And then go up the stairs because it is quicker than lowering and um raising the platform as is it it is already raised so we can walk straight through it and raise this platform here we can then climb down this ladder and race over to the the thing here on our left will drop, but there are no zombies in it. 
upon heading back, this thing will drop. Fire a rocket into it and then quickly go up the ladder if you're quick enough and your shot didn't hit any of the dogs they shouldn't get to you in time but if your shot was quick enough and well timed you will have killed the dogs as well and not have to worry about them we can go through this door here and shoot the pale head and the two other zombies unlock this door but don't go through it go through your left here climb down this ladder and then get the fuse that's at the end here once we grab this fuse, another zombie will appear to our left. All right, here goes. His animation outweighed being shot, so make sure you fire a second shot to make sure he's dead. If you fire quickly like I do. Head to the left here and through this door. We want to jump down after we fire at the zombies here. You might have to fire a second shot just in case you didn't kill them all. And then we need to place the fuses. It doesn't matter what order you place them in. They will place where they're supposed to place. Once you've placed all four fuses, hit this switch and we should get an achievement if you were fast enough for doing the warehouse within five minutes. I interact with this and push B. This will give us a cutscene we need to skip. This way. I actually have discovered a trick for this guy to speed up this bit just a little bit but because it's a forced cutscene section we actually ahead. cannot go any further even with the trick to speed it up. So once he goes through the door we dodge we can catch up to him and actually even go in front of him sure but we can't go any further than this water. door until the cutscene activates. All right, let's get this done. Once we're here, we need to. If you fire here, you can kill a pale head early. When we go upstairs to our left, will be a zombie, and in front of us will be a pale head. I recommend taking out the zombie first as the pale head takes a little while to get to us. Then we want to go to the left here and to the right and interact with this platform. I always shoot there in case they are not pretending to be dead. But you don't need to because they are actually dead. Once we got the USB we can head back the way we came. Placing the USB in here unlocks this door. Complete. You want to fire at the ground because some zombies will drop. And there are some pale heads as well. As you can see there's one that's already dead because we killed him. To your right here is another pale head. And when we get down these stairs, there's a, sometimes a zombie there, this time there wasn't. We can place the power cell inside. And now we can open this door. And go through this section. The zombies on the left in the cells when we come back through this section are going to attack us. Just a warning. So we can go up this elevator and then pass this section. When we get to a certain point the door will open. If you aim just carefully you can fire through the door. Killing the zombies inside the door as well. Then we can interact with this and take the part of the vaccine cure that we need. Okay, this looks like it might be used in vaccine development. 
We don't want to head back down the elevator we came up. At this point the um, tubes will start to break and they will pour out and attack us. And as you can see, their animations a lot of the time make them immune. So be very careful of their attacks because they can one hit you. Once they're all dead, we just have to wait for this door to open. And then we can go back the way we came almost. Because when we get to the stairs past this section, we need to go up them. When we get to this door, there will be a zombie that will try to grab us. And we can grab the next part of the cure. Now that we have both vaccine parts, we can head back to where we got the USB from. We can place... We can discard that, combine both of these, and then use that into the vaccine machine. You want mid, high, low. Can now skip that. Take the vaccine and skip this cutscene. We then want to head through this vent. Skip the cutscene and continue holding left stick up till another cutscene plays. Skip this cutscene and then we can head off opening this door here. This will be our first what boss fight of the two last boss fights. We can skip that there. Make sure to dodge him if your first attack misses. And then just keep firing at him. You'll get your first cutscene and the second part will activate. Just try to keep your shots hitting him. Try not to miss. And then that will activate the second and finish that first Why? boss part. Where did you go? I have to get that back now we're at the second and the last boss, so we can save it. This is our fifth and final save. This boss can be tough. Especially on Inferno difficulty. So you want to open this, well, grab this gun straight away and fire it. And skip the cutscene. I found running to my left here, it prevented him from doing the animation of actually attacking. If you grab the object and back away, he will try and grab you. And it gives you time to hit the polyps and then push the object in. I don't fully push it in because I, he doesn't give you long and I want time to get to the other side. Go ahead. I'm gonna put you right back on your ass. So here he actually started attacking before I was ready so grab that and back away and he will try and grab you but 
but if you're quick enough, he won't get you. And then you can race over to the other side with enough time to reach it before he actually gets up. You think I don't know how to fuck you up? Grab it again and back away. As you can see, he will try and grab you. You time it right, you can run down to the last one here and push it in. I push it in completely even knowing he will get back up. Because I can race back to this one here. In time to grab it and back away so he doesn't grab me. Then I push this one in. And once this one's in, I race with the dodge button to the gun. As soon as you grab the gun, you have one. You just need to fire. This part is unskippable. And then we need to walk forward with the left stick and then hold in RT. Luckily we can skip that part. So here you want to run forward to your right and then up this ladder. There is a collectible here that I recommend you grab so you don't miss it for when you do your next playthrough. We just have to race to the exit here. Activate this switch and wait for the elevator to raise us up to the top. And then we will have one last action we have to perform. So we have to shoot him. I aim for his head just because. And then we just skip the cutscenes. And here is our achievements. We got an S, a time of 1 hour and 3 minutes. And so we got Dominator for completing the game on Inferno. Jill Valentine for completing the game with an S rank on Inferno. Conqueror for completing the game on Nightmare or Higher. Veteran for completing the game on Hardcore or Higher. Survivor for completing it on Standard or Higher. <laughs> Sensational work for getting an S rank. You'll also get Sprinter for beating the game in under two hours. And I might need those, these later for completing the game using only one healing. Thank you for watching.